Check one, two. Hi, it's uh, it's Tim Sway. Uh, if you don't know me, uh, I make videos that I, I post online of me making things out of reclaimed materials. Um, I don't really do them to be educational. I just kind of do them more to be inspiring. Uh, I'm an artist. I'm, I have no formal training, whatever. I kind of got the idea of making some of these videos to sort of make making things more accessible to people that don't have fancy tools and shops and, and stuff like that. And uh, this is the first video in this series. Now, what I did is yesterday I shot a bunch of footage that we're going to jump to in a minute of me going to this wood pile that's kind of, I get lucky because it's right over there, um, of a fence company where they throw their scrap. And um, me sort of picking through the pile and pulling stuff out. All I use is a hammer and a crowbar. And um, I did use a, a skill saw at one part, you'll see. Or a, I'm sorry, a table saw type thing. A radial arm saw, I think is what they call it. <laughs> whatever anyways so you know, this stuff here this is this is what you're gonna see um, this is a bunch of cedar fencing it's like uh, about five feet tall I guess and, uh, a whole bunch of two by fours here from a pallet that all these things were on and so I got about I don't know a good couple hundred pounds of wood there that I I managed to get for free in a couple hours of work with just using a hammer and a crowbar um, so Watch the video, and if you have any questions, you can't really actually talk to me right now because this is a video, but you could always email me. So, all right, bye. When they put up a new fence, they often tear down an old fence. So it's pretty convenient for me because that's my shop right there. I can come down here and get a truckload like this of lumber in uh, about an hour. As you can see, there's 2x4s from the pallets that the fence comes on. It's their standard issue 2x4s. I got enough here to build a small shed. And actually, I could side the shed with all the cedar fence as some rich person decided to tear down and put up a new cedar fence. And I can't imagine what the new one looks like because. This one looks pretty much perfect to me. Um, and even the paint's good on it, you know. But it's cedar and I can clean it up and make some deck furniture or something out of it. Uh, so now I'm gonna go denail it. And what I'll do to save a little time is I'll probably just cut it, cut the ends off and just denail the middles. And then I'll use these ends to heat my shop. And this is probably at, at a big box store, 500 to $1,000 worth of lumber. just like the ends. And it's not the best power wood in the world, but that's about a day's heat for me. Now all I have to do is bang out the nails in the middle of this stuff. all the nails out of this, uh, all the cedar fence I got, and they came out really easy. Alright, so we got to be good neighbors, right? We don't want to leave all these nails laying around after doing this type of stuff. Now they sell um, magnetic sweepers, they call them, where you can walk around and put a handle and there's a magnet that picks up all the nails, but I'm just using the speaker magnet that I got from blowing out a speaker. Now no one's going to get a flat tire, and once again, we're reusing something that otherwise would have been thrown away. Maybe I'll put it on a stick like the sweeper, and then I want it to get down on my hands and knees and get wet. Okay, there you have it. That's how I managed to collect all this uh, lovely wood here. A short amount of time. Um, I have plans for this stuff that you're going to see in future videos, like I said, this, this series thing. Um, they're going to be a couple projects with some different skill levels and with different levels of owning equipment and tools. Um, 
basically, I think making your own things is really cool, and I want a lot of people to experience and enjoy it as much as I do. So, uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'm going to go make something.